Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm Mandy. I'm so excited about the video that I'm going to do today. I thought and thought and thought this has been on my brain for the last week and I've been wanting to do this video. It just seems like it's going to be so much fun. It's kind of a favorites and hate it's, but instead of favorites and hate it's, it's going to be masters or disasters. And we are just going to be reviewing products. It's not going to be a certain brand or who knows, I might change it later on. Um, I got to tweak it. But I have got, for some reason, every month I get them late. I've got my Ipsy bag and I've also got my BoxyCharm. Now we're not reviewing the companies. That Nothing against the companies. It's just the products that's going to be in this masters or disasters let's just get started this is going to be so much fun okay first i don't know i think we should start let's go with ipsy first and i understand boxy charm is a little bit more expensive so of course their stuff's going to be better but you know what i have received better products from ipsy than boxy charms and it just flip-flops it could be the same it's just different every month okay now for ipsy the first thing that i pulled out of the box for the thing yesterday and like i said we're not reviewing the company so it, it's nothing with ipsy or boxy terms it's just the products the first thing i pulled out was the Litchi and Gold, the Seraphine Botanicals. It's the blush. I know y'all can't see. My lighting really sucks in here. This is their blush. And I guess it's Litchi and Gold. I, I guess that's the color. And it is a very beautiful pink. It, well, it's like a peachy pink color. I know you can't really see it. And it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. But you know what? Once you get that on, you don't really see the shimmer. This is a really beautiful blush. It goes on soft. It blends. Don't stay on long enough. But it, you know what? It's blush. What kind of blush does last all day? But you know what? This, I'm going to have to put in the master's pile because I love this blush. This was one of the best blushes I've got from them so far. Okay, the next thing. Ipsy, Ipsy, Ipsy. So, so much for this product. I'm going to put this in the Masters. Because you know, there's really nothing that I don't like about it. I mean, it does. It does everything it's supposed to do. And it lasts a lot longer than a lot of my other moisturizing lip balms. Okay. So, so far we've got two Masters. So... Are we going to get to a disaster or are we not? Are they going to be all masters? Because I love everything and I don't like to hate nothing. Okay, so the next thing that we've got. Okay, on to the next. I love this product. This is ColourPop and this is the one that they done with Hello Kitty. I'm not sure if you can see that. And this is in the color Locked Diary, or Lock Diary, I'm sorry. Now, I love ColourPop. Now, I have had a few things from there that didn't actually work out for me. But this is the, like I said, the Ultra Satin Lip. The color's a little off. I don't really like wearing these bright colors like this. I'm more of a nude color gal. But the formula, the wear time... You know, it's just awesome with ColourPop. I don't know how they've done it, but somehow or another, you know, they've, they've made the map on the liquid lip. So, I've got to put this on the Masters. This has got to go there. All right, guys. Now, the next things that we're going to talk about, we've got this. This is the Winky Lux, the Unibrow Universal Eyebrow Pencil. <clears throat> now, this is dual-ended. It's got two ends. Now, this, well, that's the product side. This on one end is just a spoolie. You can never have enough spoolies. I love those things. I've 
got so many of them, it's ridiculous. <coughs> and the next end is, of course, your product. Now, I love the color of this. It does have that cool toned brown. It's a little darker than I, you know, than for my hair color, but it actually comes out lighter than you think. And it's, it does have the angled head, if you could see. I'm not sure if you could really see that that well. Now this product, it comes out chalky. And anytime I think that, you would think that it would stick to the hairs better, but you have really got to press down to get any product out of this. Um, which is actually fine with me because I like my eyebrows a little bit lighter. You know, I do a lot. I love this product. I really do. I love the whole idea around it. They've done awesome. I just wish it put out a little bit more pigment. If you could tell, it don't really have that much wear time. If you could tell the tail of my brows, they're kind of gone now. I've had it on like six hours. And I have reapplied it up to four times. So this is definitely going to have to go... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put that under Masters. I really do like this pencil and I think it's a great idea. So that's where we're going to put it. I can't believe it. I just totally mixed in everything products. Um, a lot of that stuff was boxy German. I was supposed to be doing MC, but you know what? I'm not even going to redo this video. It is what it is. So, and by the way, you remember... I did say we're not even reviewing the companies. It's just the products. So maybe I should have done that in the first place. Maybe it should have been a mix match. But, okay, so now we're going to start on the next stuff. And while we was doing BoxyCharm on their last product, and I forgot about this. This is the Project Beauty. This is their setting spray. That's the spray set and go. I love setting sprays. I love primer sprays. This is the first one that I have ever had a problem with. This, when you spray it, well, first of all, and I doubt you could see it, but it's got this one string. I mean, it is, it's got a, it's got the wide string, but there's like one hole or I don't know what it is, but one of them comes out like straight out. And I'm telling you that will, if that gets in your eye, that's going to hurt and it's going to sting. But not only that, the product itself is so sticky. And I have some setting sprays that are sticky, but that feeling goes away. This one stays like that. I mean, the whole time that it's on, and not even when it dries down. When it dries down, it feels so heavy. I, this is the first one. I have never thought there was a bad setting spray. I just, I really, really dislike this product. I don't, you know what? Disaster. Okay. Now, for the rest of the products. Now, this is the Ciate London Wonder One. This is their cold liner. And it's the dual ended. It's got the pencil liner on one end. And it's got a little liner brush on the next, on the other end, I'm sorry. And that's, you know, this works all right to smudge it out, you know, after you line your lid. But not for really placing it because this is just, it's too flimsy. I don't know. Everybody's got their own preference. Now, for me, I, I have to have mine, like, it's really got to be stiff for me to line the lid. But, I mean, I can use that for smudging, and it did work awesome with doing that. Now, the liner itself is awesome, and the only problem is it, you know, every couple of hours it's going to fade, but, you know, you can't really find a liner that's not going to fade. So, I'm going to have to say that this product is going into the master's category. I love it. Now next is the Ofra eyeshadow, and they they have sent me dozens of these things, and I love them. I really do. This is the Gold Rush eyeshadow, actually. And yeah, everybody should know what this looks like. I believe I've got this. Maybe 
at another time, or maybe it was the other color in this. This, I mean, after seeing that one eyeshadow palette, nothing comes close to that palette. Now, I love Ofra, don't get me wrong, but this color is just so played out. I get so many golds from them. But you know what? It's not even about that. I love the eyeshadows. They have some beautiful eyeshadows. This one just didn't do it for me this time. You know, like I said, I love Ofra, it, and it's not nothing against the company. I love them. I love everything else that they've sent me. Bronzers, blushes, eyeshadows. This one just fell a little bit short for me, and I hate to do it, but this is going in the disasters. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if this is the last. It is. Wow. Well. Okay. This is, this is another Winky Lux, and this is the Double Matte Whip, and it's called Angel Food. I'm assuming it's a lip whip, lip whip cream, whatever you want to call it. I used this yesterday. It, I love it. I love the cool tone pinks. It just goes so good with my skin tone, but this... Oh my gosh, I hate to say it. It's one of those that dry and they crack and they show all your lines, everything in your lips. And you know what? I'm not even saying nothing more about this one. It's got to be a disaster. And I do believe, yes, 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 we're done. So... But these are, these are the most intense eyeshadows I've ever seen in my whole life of product testing anything. This, I'm not sure who it is. Now, they've done this with BoxyCharm, but Blink, I'm going to start looking them up. And if any one of y'all know who they are and other palettes, anything that they got out, let me know down in the comments section. Because I think if there's something I don't know about this company or what, but they are going to go far. I mean, they they have got the eyeshadow, especially the shimmer eyeshadow. They have got that corner marketed, I'm telling you. These people will make it far. But yes, definitely, definitely, this is one of the most, this is the master. Well, guys, that was it for this video. So we had 10 products. There was six on the Masters, and there was four on the Disasters. I love that the Masters outweighed the Disasters. Because like I said in the beginning, <laughs> I really hate to hate something. And I don't really hate any products because I love it. Like I said, makeup is, is my life. I love it. I love wearing it, playing with product, testing it, everything. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you like and subscribe. Uh, we're I'm going to be putting out videos left and right. I want to come up with some new stuff, some exciting videos, something that people's never done. So hopefully y'all will subscribe with me, and let's just get it rolling. Let's just let's have fun on this channel. We're going to come up with a bunch of great ideas, and if y'all have any ideas to give me, help me out now. Put it in the comment section. I promise you I'll read every one of my comments. And I will. I'll email you back. Just any ideas you have. It doesn't matter how crazy it is. We'll try it. Well, that's it, guys. I love you all.